Hey everyone, welcome to our Hometown History Shorts. I'm Jamie. I'm Dami. And we're going to be talking with Kim Home Ogeman. She works at the Yorktown Economic Alliance and she has been behind the scenes of the Yorktown. And we're gonna be opening in the fall. What's, do we have the exact date? Nope, fall. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, and so we have her here to talk about when you come to visit, because it's going to be the coolest spot in York County to come and check out, and, um, the historical elements that have been maintained that you'll be able to see that are some of them up to almost 100 years old. So we asked Kim what were some of her favorite historical elements and she gave us the rundown. The first one. First one, revolving door. I do love that door. It's beautiful, it's historic, it's original, it's gorgeous. And it's just such a unique feature of the building. They just don't make them like that anymore. So right there you'll see the beautiful revolving door and you can come right in and right into the grand lobby. That is so cool. Yeah, I love, love that. It. Number two. Oh, the mural. So this mural was a surprise to us. It was painted in 1926, directly on the terracotta block in the lobby. We discovered it by accident. It's been fully restored by a grant from the National Trust for Historic, Historic Preservation. And it's beautiful. It's um, painted by Cornelius Hicks. So you'll get to see that right behind re the reception area. They covered it up. Covered it up by drywall. But in, that, in drywall. Mm -hmm. And that was in the 70s? Oh, way before, before that. that. They didn't know what they had. Time. Nope. So, like, what were they thinking? Like, oh no, this art. Let's just right. cover it up. Yeah. Did us a favor because it was pretty well preserved. Yeah. Oh, so, that's a good thing in hindsight. It was. Yeah. It was. Visitors will be able to see new murals, right? Yes. We will have 13 different artists doing individual, like, brand new commissioned pieces that all have some sort of connection to the Yorktown. That's so scattered cool. throughout the hotel, so you'll have to explore the whole building. Uh, Are they all local artists? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yep. <laughs> Number three, we have. The mail chute. So this is a functioning mail chute. Uh, it's a Cutler mail chute, which was a company that I believe opened in like 1880, give or take. Okay. Um, and it was a functioning mail chute in everyday U.S. Postal Service stop in the lobby since they opened, uh, and it's going to be a functioning mail chute once again. What's well, going to be the first piece of mail? I don't know. I might have <laughs> a postcard in there. <laughs> that would be really cool. Very <laughs> simple. Like the we first should, one. You know, watch somebody people. else should do that. We'll have to, I'll have to find somebody to drop a postcard in there. All right, number four, we've got the stairs. Oh, they're so beautiful. So the marble stairs with these beautiful ornate railings with the wooden balusters, they're all going to be restored. You'll see them uh, leading up to the lobby, through the lobby, up to the ballroom, up to the mezzanine level. A uh, very distinct feature. And that's, I think, what makes this so special is that you go into other hotels and they're kind of like a dime a dozen, mass produced, but here it's the real history. The real deal. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, and number five. Oh, the windows. I get so excited and I'm here <laughs> every day. Uh, so these are the beautiful ballroom windows with the arch tops, and for decades they were painted over with dark, heavy drapes. So now mm -hmm. we're going to have a lot more natural light, full restoration. We've been saving all the wood trim and the panes of glass. Um, it's just a beautiful backdrop to an already gorgeous ballroom. This must have taken extra time to mm -hmm. preserve and like think about the historical integrity of your pieces. Did you ever like get a headache and say, oh my gosh, we're just ordering something new? We can't. We're not legally allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> National Park <laughs> Service. National Park <laughs> Service. Secretary of Interior Historic Standards. So, um, there, I mean, there are sometimes frustrations when you're trying to figure out how to add ADA accessibility or mm -hmm. add modern features like sprinklers and fire systems mm -hmm. with those historic features. But you just have to figure it out and mm -hmm. you have to respect the historic integrity. Yeah. That's the top Hands line. Hands down. That's it. They had this amazing old picture of the ballroom, and we'll be able to recognize this, right? Yes, it'll look a lot like that. You'll see the, the French doors with the glass panes, original doors, original stairs, original wainscoting. You'll recognize all of it. Hmm. And then we have a bonus. We oh. said number five, <laughs> okay. but we're going to have six things oh. because the time capsule is too good to pass up. So tell us about the time capsule. I'm so excited about the time. <laughs> I'm so excited about everything. So the time capsule is a York Safe and Lock Company safe. It says the Yorktown Hotel. So um, for anyone who hasn't, look it up. It's an amazing company, pre-World War One or pre-World War One, I think. Um, so we have this safe, we're gonna have it fully restored and that will be our time capsule. We've got 50 or 60 items to put in it from the community and it's gonna tell the story of the last 100 years and the renovation and the grand opening and then we're gonna seal it up and someone else 100 years from now can open it back up. Oh, so cool. Is that the goal, like 100 years from now? 
Is that my problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else figured out. This is a good safe <laughs> number. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Um, so the Yorktown is up to a fifty-four million dollar renovation. Mm -hmm. How has this benefited, or how is it going to benefit the community? It's the community's hotel. It was built by the community for the community, and we want everyone to be welcome here. And the the interesting part about the fifty-four million dollar investment is that it's leveraged by community funds, donations, foundation support, grant support. Yeah. So it's not a fifty-four million dollar debt. Um, we want it to be affordable. And we want everyone to feel welcome. Yeah, because some of the rooms, I mean, are meant to be below the two hundred price mark, so oh, yeah. people could come mm -hmm. and, and actually afford to come and stay here. Mm -hmm. Could people like just come up for a drink? Sure. You know, they, oh, like an open bar. Well, it won't be open. We'll just, we'll just buy you a drink, but yeah. <laughs> Different kind of open bar. Um, we are in the rooftop of the Yorktown right yes, now, yes. so you can see how cool this space is going to be. In yes. the back, there's going to be a, a bar that then yes. opens out to the outside. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. It's beautiful, and you can see for miles. Yep, all year round. <laughs> Yeah, all year round. So what's the biggest thing you want the public to know about the Yorktown when it opens in the fall? I, I think a couple things. It, it's done right. It's going to be for the community, by the community, and we'll be open this fall. And we want everybody to come celebrate with us. It's been a long process, and we're very excited to have the community have that sense of arrival and yeah. that welcoming back in. Everybody has a Yorktown story, and now we can all create new ones. <laughs> I love That's it. That's so cool. We'll awesome. definitely be here. Yeah, yes. Well, thank you, Kim, for joining us. Dami and I are going to be back on at 7 o'clock for our main bar. We're going to talk more about the Yorktown and its history. And then again, we'll be on at 7.45 with our interview um, with uh, a woman who worked here, Judy. She was an employee. So what it was like then compared to how it is now. Go. All right. Thank thanks, you. guys. See ya.